Hello and welcome to Flashback, a weekly look at stories from years gone by. The town of Telco in 1995 was in need of a fire hall. The fire department had been working out of a converted maintenance building. Luckily, some hard work and some donations from the community helped make their dream of having a dedicated fire hall a reality. We'll take you back to when it opened, to March 6th, 1995. It's the first real fire hall the volunteer department has had after spending years using the space in the village office. We really needed one really badly. We didn't have we didn't have a dedicated fire hall. We had a the building that we were using was a converted maintenance building and it wasn't actually built as a fire hall, so consequently it didn't have all the equipment and the space you need for a fire hall. And this one does. And most of the money and labor that made the project possible came by donation. Basically this building was about 75% donation, material and labor. Uh, well, maybe not that much, 60%, I guess. But yeah, it's everybody in the community turned out. We had lots of lots of material donation, lots of labor donation, and so consequently, uh, it's the building has turned out very nice for us. So here we are today. We have a beautiful building. It was built by the firemen, mostly by the firemen. A lot of donations by local business, both in Smithers, rural area, and in, but especially in Telfa. Donations also made it possible to buy a new piece of medical equipment essential to the treatment of heart patients. Well, the defibrillator is an important instrument for the fire department since we're 10, 15 minutes from Smithers. Um, the ambulance has a defibrillator, but in an emergency, if somebody is not breathing and doesn't have a pulse, it's uh, the first few minutes are critical that uh, 10 or 50 ma minute wait would mean the difference between life and death for that person. We've attended two or three uh, turned out to be heart attacks. Um, we didn't have the defibrillator at that time, but the ambulance arrived and uh, yes, it, uh, it's gonna be a benefit to the community. Linus Waters, First News, Telqua.